Om Shanti. Greetings for the very sacred festival of Rakshabandhan. I know that for myself, I would say that this is my favorite time of year because it's the wonderful reminder of the Supreme Being, the Protector, and my commitment to God. And what is my commitment? My commitment is that I will maintain purity in my thoughts, in my awareness, in my attitude, in my vision, and of course then also in my words and my actions, so that then together with everybody else around me, we can create a better future for everyone. Especially in these very, very challenging times, it's a wonderful reminder that yes, we can support each other with our love, but it's actually God who is the protector for the whole of humanity. And Raksha Bandhan is the reminder of that sacred relationship, that link that we have with the Supreme, with the Divine. And yes, it's also the beautiful reminder that all of us are one family, brothers and sisters all together, and as a result of that eternal connection that we have, we are again reminded of that love, that respect and the bond of purity that we share with each other. And so across time, sometimes things get a little bit lost. And so in India, the symbolism is of the sister tying the Raki on the brother, which is beautiful. It's a lovely reminder of that very sacred relationship we have between brothers and sisters in which there's no karmic bondage. In many other intimate family relationships, there are lots of bondages, but in the relationship of sisters and brothers, I don't think there's any bondages at all. And so a lovely reminder of that also, but of course today we know that it's actually the one Supreme who is our protector through eternity, but also the lovely reminder of all being the children of the one parent and so truly, yes, we are brothers and sisters. But of course, thinking about Raksha Bandhan in this way broadens our horizon. And if we think about how many troubles are created in the world through discrimination and division on the basis of race and religion and um, ethnicity, all of these things all just melt away when we come back to that awareness of the one Supreme Being. And of course, when we tie the sacred thread, this Raki, I'll just show you one, a very beautiful one with that symbol of the Divine. Um, but also, what we do at the same time is give the Thilak, the saffron or the sandalwood paste, again very fragrant and very beautifully reminding us of soul consciousness, the awareness of the eternal being, and sandalwood, the fragrant wood. And so the paste that's reminding us of the very fragrant divine qualities that the soul originally had and we forgot and now it's time to re-emerge and express them in our activity on all levels once more. And we also share sweets, a reminder of no harsh language, no harsh tone, no harsh words, but every give and take through words or through our drishti, our vision, should be filled with that love and respect as we would share within a family. And then we also usually give a fruit, a reminder of karma philosophy. Whatever it is I give, that is also what I receive in return. And so this whole festival is conducted in a very beautiful atmosphere of silence to remind us of that eternal link with the one and the eternal link with each other also. It's the one festival in which um, we really focus on this whole subject of yoga, the union 
with the Supreme Raj Yoga, the highest union, the supreme experience of union with God. And so enjoy your Rakhi ceremony today, but also let the promise that you make to God be one that you're able to honor through the whole year. Sometimes we get very intoxicated and we think, yes, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And then somehow we forget and it fades away. And the promise also fades away. And the enthusiasm with which we made the promise sometimes disappears. And so let there be the constant reminder that if today I'm making this pledge to God, that I will follow the path of purity, I'm going to maintain it. And purity on all the different levels that I mentioned at the beginning. My thoughts, my awareness. Yes, if I'm aware of God, then I know God's influence is over me, the influence is guiding me in the right direction. And so I'm going to make sure that in every exchange that I have, through my attitude, my vision, my words, and so on. There's an exchange of love and respect with everyone. And of course, I know that my old sanskars, my dispositions, my personality traits can jump in. So sometimes I can be a little impatient, sometimes a touch of anger or irritation can come in, but no. That reminder of soul consciousness and the connection with the divine, then in my spiritual connection with each one, there will only be spirituality and divinity, an exchange of joy. Certainly, there will never be any exchange in which I'm causing grief or sorrow to any other person, or even the animal kingdom or the plant world. If we were to take Raki and the process of purification even more profoundly, we would realize that it impacts our relationship with the animal kingdom, also the plant kingdom, and in fact the whole of the planet. And so let me be very, very aware of how my thoughts can impact everything, not just for me, but for everyone and everything on the planet. They say that if I lift my finger, I move the stars. There are so many repercussions of absolutely every thought, word, and deed. And so, yes, I'm now aware of this. And so let me follow that path of purity in which the exchange with every human and animal and kingdom of the plants is one in which I'm sharing love and respect and I think Rakshabandhan can make a huge difference to the world. It can truly help us create a brighter future for everyone. And surely at this period of darkness, this is what we truly want. So let God's light ignite the flame of the soul. And with that, let all the lights come together, all souls coming together, and our collective energy of God's love and light spread out into the world so that we can actually see a change happen in the world immediately in which we are involved, but also in the world around us. So Rakshabandhan is a very, very powerful festival and a reminder of our contribution to each other and the world and the benefit of connecting with the Divine and staying in that awareness for as long as I can, whenever I can. Om Shanti